This morning we're visiting Museo Castillo de Serrayes in Ponce. And this is the castle of the Serrales family, which founded Don Q. Rum. Back in the 1930s is when this Spanish revival mansion was built. And today it holds a museum about the rum. There's also a Japanese garden and a cross by the name of uh, El Crucero de Vigia. So we're going to go and take a look. Come along and join us. Hold on, I want to get a picture. There's the view from up here. It's just it's like uh, stunning out over the city of Ponce. This must be something that they used to distill the rum. I guess we'll. I guess we don't really have a tour of the distillery here, but uh, maybe this is a obviously a museum piece. This massive tree is called a Guanacaste tree. It's 75 years old. The national tree of Costa Rica. I know they have a big city called Guanacaste also known as Oreja de Mono, or monkey ear. Again, looking out from this castillo over the city of Ponce. This is quite the, uh, quite the castillo here. And this is all on the southern coast of Puerto Rico. You can see the ocean, the mar out here. Here he is, Don Q. It's me and my buddy, Don Q. Wow. Can we go in and get ready for our tour? And of course, go right into the gift shop. Outside, they'll allow me to take video, but not inside. Well, we just finished our tour of Castillo Serrayes. It was interesting, a little disappointing that they didn't let us take pictures or video, so we cannot take you on the tour with us. But still, it was very interesting, beautiful Spanish Revival mansion with a, with a fountain in the middle. We saw the formal dining room. We didn't see every room, but we saw um, where the wife used to live, the original wife, her beautiful, her beautiful huge chamber. So we saw the formal dining room, which was absolutely beautiful with mahogany furniture and Spanish tile floors and all kinds of um, plates and and other things for the table that are made of real gold and crystal, silver um, utensils, everything was beautiful. We saw the huge chambers of the wife of the owner, though we didn't see his room, but she had a massive room, again with heavy mahogany furniture. There was a sewing room, we saw the kitchen, a fountain. But the most interesting thing is that the family only lived here until 1979, and then they couldn't afford to live here anymore because of the cost of upkeep. The descendants didn't want it anymore or couldn't afford it, and so they decided to sell it to the city of Ponce. So they sold this beautiful mansion with all of the things in it, the furniture for and um, the gold plates, everything, for $400,000. And our tour guide told her that it would be worth four million today just for the house, and that doesn't even include the furniture or all the gold items or other precious items that are inside. So that's quite the bargain. So no one's lived here since 1979. They redid a bunch of it where there used to be a garage and a cistern. They put in a theater that we didn't get to show you. And um, the garage is now the gift shop, which I guess we could have shown you, but why would we? But still, um, another thing that was really interesting is that the Serrayes family also had a sugarcane factory, but that has gone into disrepair. They still make the rum, but sugarcane is no longer an industry here on the island of Puerto Rico. It just became too expensive compared to other places like the Dominican Republic, where they could pay people less and not have to give them benefits and things. Yeah, and supposedly the uh, sugarcane industry sort of died out here in Puerto Rico 
about 19 in the mid 1990s. Yeah, just about so. when we were leaving, actually. Yeah. 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 So um, it's probably probably the same thing. Uh, so it's you, probably the same things happened in Hawaii. That's you know, where sugarcane mm-hmm. is no longer a uh, you know a viable crop cost-wise. If you if you go out in that direction where you see um, the sea, before the sea where it's all just lush and green, that's where they used to have sugarcane fields. And now it's just nature there. And that just an island, by the way, is uh, called Coffin Island. Caja de Muerto, you can take boat trips out there. But that's what we've seen of the Castillo, we're going to move on now to see the giant cross in the Japanese gardens. And I'm pretty sure we'll be able to take you along on the ride for those. Crucero here. Crucero. Crucero. This is the Crucero here. Crucete de Vigia. Well, here we are up in the top of the Cruceta. Abandoned building up here is the old hospital. Well, the Cruceta was interesting, but uh, nowhere was there any indication of why it's here, when it was built, who did it. But, you know, it's good for 15 minutes or so. You can also have a drink at the little, uh, little bar here. And as promised, here are the Japanese gardens. Once again, don't know why it's here, but uh, here it is. Good for a five minute walkthrough. Bunch of Japanese bushes. Well, we'll get a little history. I'm sure we can find history online as to why there's a Japanese garden here smack dab and in the middle of the south coast of Puerto Rico. Well, we can only hope. <laughs> See, uh, Central Ponce. Got some live music going on here. Got the fountain. We're looking for some place to have some lunch. But I think we're gonna walk through the park first, enjoy the little music. Maybe get sprayed a little bit and cool off. This is uh, the Parque de Bombas. So, uh, there used to be an old fire station that they turned into, I guess, a little bit of a museum. Right here on the square, the El Centro. A few display cases of some old stuff. Just pictures of all the old Capitans. And they got one other thing on display over here. Our beach. It's got these scrubby little trees, not the palm trees. It's got some shelter. Beach isn't as nice. It's, uh, it's a very, very interesting, different, different contrast here. This is uh, going out to the Caribbean, uh, our side. Then uh, Playa Azul goes out to the Atlantic. 
there's little, some little itty bitty waves here, little weak. Definitely not as rock and rolling as on our beach right now here in uh, November. Wow, look at these guys. Right here in the marina. These things are huge. What the heck are they? Yeah, but there's the there's the happy there's a gun. Wow. You can buy food? Oh. <laughs> running, the gauntlet, running the gauntlet of the uh, pelicans here. And they're feeding them. So Lisa, what do you think of our day in Ponce? Well, if that's Puerto Rico's second largest city, sort of disappointing. Yeah, it was it was a little disappointing. We've it's not the first time we've been to Ponce, and I keep thinking that we're missing something there. Yeah. You know that, that uh, there there has to be more there than what we what we've seen. But we walked around the square a couple times. You know, the Bombas Museum is there. You know, we ate in a restaurant there. We looked at it from the mountaintop. Yeah, and. Uh, <laughs> You know, there, there's, there has to be more there than, than, than what we're seeing. But, you know, the downtown, it was a little bit, uh, you know, a little bit sparse to us. But what about the, our, our tour of, of Don Ku? Don Ku. Well, it didn't turn out to be Don Ku. It turned out to be just the castle. And we weren't allowed to videotape anything or take any pictures, so we couldn't capture it. And then they barely mentioned the rum, except to say the family had, you know, started yep. this rum and then sold it to the community for a shockingly low amount of money. But we were expecting something rum-wise. Don Q is the most popular rum in Puerto Rico, and instead there was hardly anything about the actual rum. No tastings, no factory. It just seems like a lost opportunity to me. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Because particularly since it's uh, you know so famous here in, in, in the island. And then the, uh, the Crusetta and the Japanese garden would just seem to me just sort of plunked there. I mean, they were they were interesting in and of themselves, but, but there's no... we didn't know why they were there. Why is there a Japanese garden right there on a hilltop in Ponce, Puerto Rico? Mm -hmm. Nobody knows, there was okay. no sign. Why is there a giant cross with an observation tower in its, uh, in its outstretched <laughs> arms? Who knows? But still, I mean, it was worth a day in Ponce, so yeah, I'm yep. glad we went, but I, I would not recommend that you put it in your top 10 list of things to do. No, and, and, and the other thing is, is we went to the beach, and either there's a beach that we missed, or that beach is uh, you know, pretty disappointing in and of itself, too. And you know, some of that could be because of, the, um, of Hurricane Maria. Yeah. Because if you recall, there was what looked like a really cool malecon there. Yep, and exactly. And you couldn't get on it. It was closed down, and it seemed like a lot of it was damaged and hadn't been repaired. So it could be that someday Ponce will return to a former glory that we never got to see. But for now, that's for, what's in Ponce at in least for 2022. Us <laughs> <laughs> so until next time. May your suitcase always be messy. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to be notified of our upcoming videos. Hasta la vista.